Good morning everybody, or should I say good midnight. It's uh, 3.15 and we are in Budapest, heading out now for 10 days to Istanbul. We're only bringing a backpack and um, yeah, two backpacks, that's it. And then we are staying in Turkey for 10 days. All right. This is really, really interesting. Walking around in a huge capital city like Budapest, three in the night, watching drunk people, but also all the beautiful buildings. Not so many tourists, of course there is not. So uh, you can really experience something. So if you're ever in Budapest and you want to get up at three in the night, you should uh, take a walk through uh, Andrashi Ut. We were gonna do a video about this, but if you wanna get to the airport of Budapest, you're gonna take the 100E bus from Deak Ferenc Ter. Um, it's only around 2,000 foreigns, and it's a pretty good deal. It's better than a taxi. Like this video if you wanna see more travel videos and see more Aisha on the camera. In the bus, now 45 minutes drive to the airport. So um, Budapest Airport is one of the best airports in Europe. I mean, we've been here like 20 times during the last three years. And I mean, it's, it's a joy to be here. It's, it's nice. It's normally never overcrowded. And it's um, just great. We uh, usually have access to the MasterCard Lounge, which I hope we can because I am hungry. Hungry Dane. Yeah. We got access to the lounge. Amazing. You might not know, but my favorite like food is scrambled eggs. You could eat it with everything. Sometimes they put the uh, chives in also, it's delicious. Good morning. And you always do the healthy choice. Yes, I do. Always. The plane is delayed for like one and a half hour. So good thing we have this lounge access, so we can sit here and get drunk. Well, we're not drinking. Of course you can get free booze, but it's 5 in the morning who drinks booze so early, it's great. We got in through the, uh, the Terminal B, new experience. It's a bit different from where we used to, this is outside of EU and Xing. So uh, quite interesting. We're a bit tired, but yeah. we don't look tired though. So we're gonna film a video now, going uh, to Istanbul and through the airport and getting to the hotel through, I guess, public transport, otherwise a taxi. And then we'll film one more video afterwards. We are now waiting for the plane to arrive. Um, I don't hope it's gonna be delayed more than it already is. But um, yeah, I'm so excited to get to Turkey. Okay, so the, the camera broke. Uh, we dropped it by mistake, so we are switching to another camera. I don't know what happened, this is what we used. Um, I think it's the lens, so we might buy a new lens, maybe in Istanbul, I don't know where. Now you see this camera. I hope it's just as good. We'll try to get the same good close-ups. We're in Istanbul. It's a um, beautiful airport. Huge and very, very clean compared to like, I mean, I like this more than uh, Copenhagen airport. It's good, very good, but nothing beats Budapest. Straight, I don't know what it's called. Um, Toplu Tashima, that's um, public transport in Turkish. We're gonna find the um, Chikish, the exit. Find somewhere to get to the hotel. We're gonna find out how to get an Istanbul card, which is public transportation card. Otherwise, we're gonna take a taxi. One thing that is 
good to know when you get to Istanbul. There will be a lot of people who want to say you need a taxi or anything. Always try to get the Uber app. It's better, much better. It's easier also uh, because sometimes they rip you up. <laughs> I mean, I don't know where to go. I don't know who to ask. Maybe it's, I'll ask some like taxi driver who's gonna say, "Oh, it's cheaper. I do it." But it's not. Here we went up and down. <laughs> I mean, no, down airport. and up. Yeah. It's a beautiful airport, but it's a bit difficult to find your way. That's why we're making this video. We're gonna cut it so it seems easy. So we go down again. know that we're going to Havelimani. Havelimani, it says there. And you can even charge your phone here. It's, it's very, very nice airport. I have no idea. I don't think it's that one. I mean, the buses are full, so we can't get on. But we found it. We found it. It's right here, but it's full. I don't know what to do. Maybe we're gonna be going to Aksaray Metro, which is in the city center. So we found out that we can buy tickets at this orange yellow uh, ticket sale office of course for the bus and then get a bus to Aksaray thank you five euro for a ticket to Aksaray all my senses are out Very hilly, I didn't think Istanbul would be so hilly. Dogs everywhere. We're in Istanbul and uh, looking at the streets and the shops and everything, it, it's very interesting. But um, we are at Aksaray, beautiful place. Now we're going to the metro and stuff and buy a ticket, I think. Yeah. I mean, active Sunday in Denmark it would be so silent people would have hangover because they drink too much here you have street windows everywhere you can buy different kind of shit <laughs> if you need it how beautiful masks though they're very beautiful you have a street artist ah, I just saw the shoe cleaning scheme if we had uh, yeah, lots of cats also. Wow. But this is a. Uh, it reminds me of this, of uh, going around in Bulgada or here or Cairo, a bit. But that's just because all the shops are placed on top of each other. Oh, look at this! You have corn over here. You could get um, corn, roasted corn for like seventy cents. It's very very cheap. So we're buying an Istanbul card which you can use for the public transport. I just wanted to find the tram, but I mean, what is this? Biryani everywhere. I'm in heaven. <laughs> Perfume shops. I'm gonna move here and eat biryani every day. You can also get free trash on the street if you want. Hectic. Very hectic. So far, so good. You buy this Istanbul card and you can use it for multiple people. You just lay it when you want to enter something and you fill it up with money so it's it's, it's simple and the uh, trams look very good now we are off at the tram it was a very good experience the only like downside was it was filled with people full of people to say it that way um, this area is a bit more chill we're gonna find the hotel but later we're gonna go out and explore the city uh, 
there's a lot of different things you get in, into your head. It's crazy, it's beautiful, it's vivid, it's a lot of people and a lot of crazy things. So we're gonna find a hotel now and just rest for an hour or two. What I mean is, wow, I'm speechless. There's a lot of different, um, the atmosphere is very vivid. A lot of people, a lot of people. But I mean, coming from a small, small, small uh, town in Denmark with 6,000 inhabitants and to Istanbul with uh, 15 million inhabitants. It's different, beautiful architecture already. I'm impressed, a bit overwhelmed, but impressed. I think Aisha is the same, actually. Um, we are very, very close to the Sea of Mamar, which is where we have the hotel. So, this is the Sydney Hotel. Um, we're staying here for 10 days, 10 nights. Um, I just spoke with the owner, Logan. He is also into music and sports and like me, so it was good. Uh, this is a very, very old part of Istanbul from actually when it was um, Constantinople. We have two small beds here. Very, very good actually. Um, a small, let's say you have a fridge, it could be like a kitchen. Um, nice, nice view of Istanbul. It's beautiful. And uh, we also have one little, little, but very good, cute bathroom and everything is very, it's clean, it's nice, the toilet is good, everything is just perfect. So um, yeah, and um, the price is even better. So I mean, if you want to try and live in a Turkish hotel, try a Sydney hotel. It's great. Um, after you eat breakfast uh, every morning, and I mean, to eat breakfast here, what a view. Honestly, what a view. Wow, eating breakfast over here. And you have the sea over here, which we're gonna check out in a minute. Wow, beautiful, nice. We live on the fifth floor. It's pretty nice. People were complaining that there's no elevator. I don't see it as a problem. When you eat all those good Turkish food, you gotta walk, burn a hundred calories. We are very, very tired now. And uh, in the middle of Istanbul, a lot of different wives uh, impressions just totally overwhelmed um, we found so many nice places look at this place Hatisare and also some cafes we just brought some um, bought some groceries and uh, now we're just having uh, to find something to eat thanks for watching tomorrow we'll make a, an amazing video thanks for watching uh, be sure to like and uh, comment where we should go next bye